couple messages for the viewers, so pick a section, have a seat. Yeah, I know this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. Yeah, YouTube, what up? Couple weeks away from Mario Maker 2, and I'm so excited. Or at least I was excited, because now I'm actually really sad. I broke the switch. Oh, I usually bring it with me when I pick my son up from school so he can play with it in the back seat. And yesterday we brought it to McDonald's. We ate. He watched the YouTube app on the switch at the table and then he wanted ice cream. It was such a hot day. So we bought ice cream and here we are with two ice cream cones. I got a bunch of uh, food in the bag. I got two cups, mine's and his. Some homeless guy asked me for a dollar. And I wanted to give him a dollar, but I just couldn't reach in my back pocket, so I told him I didn't have anything. And I put everything on the hood of my car, strapped my son into a seat, left the switch on top of the car. And even then, I thought about giving that guy a dollar. I think it was him. I think it was his fault. No, it was my fault. But uh, so what happened was I just put my son back in the car seat and drove off in about 35 feet away, driving 35 miles an hour. The switch slid off the roof of my car hit the concrete, busted into a thousand pieces. Worst part, it was rush hour traffic, so I couldn't even turn back and get it. I, didn't, I just couldn't uh, put my hazard lights on in the middle of the freeway and look for it while my son was in the car. It just wasn't worth the risk. So I, I went home, came back an hour and a half later, thought maybe if I can retrieve the new Joy-Cons, because those were separate Joy-Cons I bought after the Switch, and maybe the game that's inside, at least I'd save some money. But... Oh man, I left the switch on top of the car, drove off, and then it fell. And then when I went to go pick it up, this is what was left. The only thing retrieved was the video game. And it sucks because right before Mario Maker is released, this is my switch. It doesn't turn on anymore. Grips broken. The new, brand new separate Joy-Cons I bought, broken. Sad, man. Seeing that it's a Nintendo product, I thought it would have a little more durability, but I mean, I did drop it on the freeway, so it's my fault. Broke it entirely. Cars ran over it. it took me uh, about a half hour, excuse me, about a half hour to find it. The back side of it. Definitely beat. This Joy-Con is definitely beat. The internal part of the Joy-Con is right here. It was sad, man. These are brand new $70 controllers, $300 switch, $20 little accessory that made the switch grip really nice. And now I gotta get another one. Now I'm gonna have the bread right now. But I was able to save Mario Deluxe. $60 game was retrieved from the from the console, but everything else is busted. Sucks, bro. I am so sad. Wow. And this can't be repaired. It won't even turn on. It's funny, because when this all first happened, my son took it really well. He didn't even really flinch. He actually made a silly joke that kind of frustrated me. He was like, hey, Dad, I got a suggestion. This might sound dumb. And I already knew it was going to be dumb. But I was like, yeah, what do you got? He was like, Maybe we can swim to Mexico. <laughs> Inside, I laughed. Outside, I was frustrated. But I, I, I ignored it. And then I was like, all right, man, let's just keep trying to find it. We got home afterwards um, before we found it. And he cried out of the blue. He just, like, broke out in tears. And he started pointing at the switch case. Uh, and I was like, why are you crying? And he's like, uh, the switch. And I was like, oh, now he's feeling the pain. He's feeling the pain afterwards. He was in denial the first few minutes. So I guess it broke his heart as much as it broke mine's, and I guess I'm gonna have to replace his switch because technically it is his switch. I just play with it. So, guys, I'll see you in the next review. I hope you like this story. I hope you don't like it too much because it's not a fun story, but it is interesting and things do happen. So I can't get too mad, and I'm, I'm happy he wasn't too mad at first. His joke was funny. I just don't get what swimming to Mexico. And I told him afterwards, I said, "What is swimming to Mexico gonna do for us?" And he said, I told you it was a dumb joke. I mean, a, a dumb idea. <laughs> I was like, all right, kid. I love you, man. You choose to subscribe, you the man. Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right?